The first one that that we'll work with is the mean. The mean is basically the average of your data set or the arithmetic average. And it's found by just taking the sum of your measurements divided by n, where n is the count, where however many there are. I'm sure that you learned to find an average by, by the little saying, add them all up, divide by however many there are. Well, the however many there are part is n. So here's the data set, 36, 6, negative 2, 27, 32, 3, 2, 12, 13, and 22. So to find the mean, we're going to just add up all of those values and divide by however many there are, which in this case is 10. So 36 plus 6 plus negative 2, et cetera, is 151. Divide that by the 10, and we get a mean of 15.1, okay? These calculations, um, Alex will always tell you how far out to, to, um, to put an answer when you're going to um, type in the answer. It'll say one decimal place or two decimal places or whatever, rounding it once. But in general, you ought to leave as many places as possible in your intermediate work. So if all these things had decimal points, you would want to leave them as decimals as you're adding them all up and such because that helps, keep, you know, helps you get more accuracy. Now, the second measure of central tendency is the median. The median is the middle value. And in order to find a middle value, you basically have to rank your data. I've taken the same set of data that we had a minute ago, and I've just put it in order. So the smallest number was negative 2, and then positive 2, 3, 6, 12. And so on up to the largest value was 36. So the middle value, there are 10. So the middle value would be between items 5 and 6. So that there's 5 on the left and 5 on the right of the median. So in this case, the median is between 12 and 13. So we'll add them together and divide by 2. If there's not one single middle value, then the median is found by adding the two middle values together and divide by two. So the median in this case is 12.5. So, so far we've had the mean is the average, the median is the middle, and finally, oops, went too fast. Finally, the, the mode. The mode is the most common value. So if I had one of these numbers that occurred two or more times, that could be a mode. In this case, no value occurs more often than any others. So in this example, there is no mode. There are, sometimes you'll have a bimodal, which is two modes, where there are two values that have the same frequency, the same number of times they happen. Um, and in some cases, that would be considered no mode. If there's not one particular number that stands out, it could be called no mode. So um, to be honest, I don't remember how Alex does it. <coughs> so I recommend that you look at the, the uh, explain on the mode when you run into the mode questions. Have it explain it to you and then see whether or not it's going to allow you to have bimodal or if it wants it to, to be just a single mode.